Dear students, in this module, we shall summarize the whole mechanism of muscle contraction. We shall start with a relaxed muscle fiber and discuss one by one the sequence of events that occur in it and lead to contraction and then relaxation. Dear students, the whole process starts when an action potential arrives at the neuromuscular junction and causes the depolarization of the surface membrane. Then the action potential is conducted deep into the muscle fiber along the T tubules. The depolarization of T tubules causes voltage sensitive dihydropyridine receptors in these T tubules to undergo a conformational change. These receptors make mechanical links to the rhinodine receptors in the uh, membrane of sarcoplasmic reticulum and cause the opening of these calcium channels. Now, the opening of rhinodine receptors causes the calcium ions to flow out of the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Iske nitije mein, cytosol mein, free calcium ions ki concentration increase karti hai. This increase happens from a level of minus 7, uh, 10 raised to power minus 7 molar and increases to 10 raised to power minus 6 molar. The, now, the calcium ions bind to troponin and induce conformational change in it. The change in conformation of troponin causes a change in the position of tropomyosin. As a result, the myosin binding sites on the actin filament are exposed. The exposure of actin binding sites on actin filament causes the cross bridges to form. And when these cross bridges form, myosin heads rotate and produce the force that pulls the thin filaments. The pulling of thin filaments causes the sarcomere to shorten. Now, in the next step, ATP binds to the myosin head, causes the myosin head to detach from the thin filament. After this, ATP hydrolyzes and energy produced causes a conformational change in the myosin which using this energy reattaches to the next site present on the actin filament. This cycle of binding and rebinding is repeated several times until the contraction and shortening is complete. When the contraction is complete, the calcium pumps in the sarcoplasmic reticular membranes are activated and they start to actively reabsorb calcium ions from the myoplasm into the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Yani ke ab calcium sequestering activity shuru hogi. Natija ye hoga ke concentration of free calcium ions in the myoplasm starts to decrease. Jab ye decrease hogi concentration, to uske ntije mein wo calcium ions jo ke troponin ke saath bind huye the, they are now unbound from the troponin. Jab troponin ke molecule se calcium ions remove hote hain, to troponin 
अपनी वापस रिलैक्स पोजिशन वाली कॉन्फर्मेशन में आती है एज ए रिजल्ट ट्रोपोमायोसिन दोबारा से एक्टीन फिलामेंट के ऊपर मौजूद मायोसिन बाइंडिंग साइट्स को कवर कर लेती है और इस तरह से क्रॉस ब्रिज अटैचमेंट को इनहिबिट कर देती है जब क्रॉस ब्रिजेस नहीं बनते तो मसल इज नाउ इन रिलैक्स्ड पोजीशन। मसल रिमेन्स रिलैक्स्ड ऑन टिल नेक्स्ट न्यूरोनल इनपुट और नर्व इंपल्स अराइव्स। 